Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified is visually impressive, and gameplay-wise it feels like the Call of Duty will play on a PS3 for most of the part. But the game is lazy. You pay full retail price for a campaign that lasts one hour. Ooh, you suck. Two hours if you play the game on a harder difficulty. One hour is a lazy effort. I know Java games that offer more story than this. Call of Duty had some legendary stories at that time. Remember the Modern Warfare trilogy or the Black Ops trilogy. They had amazing stories. Whereas here, the story is just a filler. You play some commando missions as Woods and as Mason. They are great, I can't lie. But one hour. That's all of it. It's ridiculously short. Also, Call of Duty is known for its nicely choreographed destruction and epic moments. Here, while the game has some epic moments, they don't reach that high standard set by the other games. And not because the Vita isn't capable enough, but because the game is lazy. In almost all of the 10 missions, you are a one-man army. There is one mission in which you protect someone using your sniper. Some missions spit you against time, and what is somewhat annoying is that if you die, no matter where, during an operation, you have to start it all over. There is no checkpoint system. But at least missions are less than 10 minutes long. You don't lose much. But even so, a checkpoint system would have been nice. Along with a longer campaign. One hour. Th that's ridiculous. Aside of the campaign, you also can do time trials and hostiles missions, which is a mode where you just survive multiple waves of enemies. The multiplayer is nice when it works. There are players online, but it takes some minutes to gather for a match. And if just one player leaves, which happens most of the time, the match is over. I waited more to get into a match than actually playing multiplayer. Also because the Vita doesn't have enough buttons, the knife button is a touchscreen button. And it's too close to the grenade button. I wish they would have assigned the melee button to a physical button. Also in the single player campaign, enemies are teleporting. They just appear on the map or disappear. And enemy character models are repetitive. There are like two types of enemies and they all have the same character model. Overall, even if the game is top quality in the gameplay mechanics, I mean, it feels very good when you play it. Its short campaign and content is no excuse. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.